Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about Farmerama, a new um, farming game from Uwe Rosenberg, the uh, he of Agricola and Lahav and Aura at Labora fame. This is actually based on a popular online farming game, which I've never played, and let's just get right into it. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this game is it is a uh, German-only available game right now, although it's completely language independent. However, uh, there are no English rules, so um, right now folks are having to rely on English translations done by users on BoardGameGeek. In fact, I actually contributed to one of them. And here's the other odd thing about this particular video I'm about to do. I have never played Farmerama. Uh, I, I have to tell you that right up front. I've read the rules pretty thoroughly. I think I have a pretty good understanding of how it plays, but as some of you know, I'm actually here in Malta right now and waiting for my wife, who will be joining me in just another two weeks' time. And in the meantime, all the games I've got to hand, I've either already made a video of or I haven't played yet. So I figured, what the heck, I'm actually going to give this a go. I'm going to try and uh, play the game for you uh, based on my understanding of the rules, and we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work, then I just won't upload the video. But for starters, this is my farm, and Jen over there has got one as well. And you can see right off the bat, we start with some corn, some oats, some hay, and some carrots planted, as well as one of each type of animal in our stables waiting to be fed. You can see what it is they like to be fed. Horses like care, you know, want three carrots plus three oats, for example. Jen's got the exact same setup. And we both also start with some resources, uh, three water, two carrots, uh, and you know, these are waiting to either be planted out in the fields um, to sow, to grow more, or to be fed to the animals to get the animals working and scoring points. But enough of the preamble, let's get into the game, shall we? These are my five action cards. Every player has access to the same cards. And um, what we're going to do is, in a two-player game, each player secretly chooses two of these actions and reveals them at the same time. With uh, more players, you only do uh, one action a turn. But in a two-player game, you get to do two. So um, I'm going to pick two for myself, and then I'm going to pick two secretly for Jen, you know, from her hand. And then we'll see what we shall see. So the actions I can choose from are, I can um, sow, uh, you know, or plant more crops out in the fields. I can harvest what's in the field and bring it into my barn so that I've got it on hand to either plant more or uh, feed my animals. I can collect water because water is incredibly important in this game, hugely important, not surprising since it's a farming game. I can choose to feed my animals. And finally, if I'm running low on supplies, I can go to the, um, the feed store and get one of every type of crop that I don't currently have in my possession. At the beginning of the game, I've got some of everything, so it doesn't do me much good. And I can also do one freebie plant or sowing action. So those are the five I have to choose from, and I'm going to choose two. Now, uh, before I actually choose, uh, there's one other thing I haven't mentioned. There is this, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call it the seasonal wheel, something like that, that indicates how much this turn I can um, plant, how much I can harvest, and how much water I can collect, depending on if I want to do one of these three actions, you know, plant, harvest, or collect water. Um, since we're both going to secretly choose what we want to do and then reveal at the same time, there's a, there's a chance that we might overlap. We both might try to go for water. If we both go for water, we each will only get two. But if only one of us goes for water, that lucky person will get four. And so you can see at the beginning of the game, um, it's either three if, if you're solo or two if you're not to, um, what do you call it, to plant. Same for, um harvesting, and but you can get a little bit more water right from the get-go. Also, you can see in the future, this at the end of the turn, this wheel is going to rotate thusly to the next stage. So you can look into the future a little bit and see next turn, um, planting is going to be available at 4-3 as opposed to 3-2 like this turn. So next turn is going to be a better turn to plant than this turn. And again, you can also see coming up um, you know, how much water you're going to get in the future. And again, it gets a little bit better in the next turn. So. Again, enough of the preamble. Let's actually choose some action, shall we? Okay, I am going to... Um, I don't know. Uh, cause it's, uh, because it's a good turn to grab some water, I'm going to hope Jen doesn't grab some, so I'm just going to do some water. And by the way, these are uh, chits that are from the single-player uh, version, you know, the solo version of the game. I'm just using them as a marker for what I'm going to do, so I don't forget. So I'm going to grab some water, and then I'm going to... Uh, let's see. Do I want to plant... See, I gotta assume Jen's gonna plant. Maybe I wanna do something else. Uh, actually, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy and feed some animals. I have no idea if that's smart or not, but those are the two things I've chosen. Meanwhile, Jen, let's see, I secretly choose for her, grabbing her cards. Do, 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 do. She will do that and that. And ta-da, she has decided to plant and gather water as well. So, we have uh, declared our intentions for this round. Now, we act them out. But before we do that, we have to see if there was overlap. If, uh, and in this case, there was. As I went to feed my animals, so, um, and Jen went to plant. So those don't overlap. But we both went to try to get water. So what that means is whenever uh, multiple players try to do the same action, there is a chance that those players will earn decorations for their, for their nearby garden, this little uh, space over here where you can put decorations to give you extra bonuses. So the way that works is up here, these are all the decorations that are going to be available in the game. This also serves as a timer. When this stack is done, the game is over. And right now, there are two decorations on offer. Um, this one, which gives you three victory points, and this one, which gives you a bonus one-time action immediately of getting to plant or sow four more uh, goods. So, since we overlapped, there's a chance that somebody's going to get um, one of those. And let's see. How does it work? Right, right, right. Okay, what we have to do is we have to compare. Um, and we, we have to be, see who is ahead and who is behind in certain um, parameters. And basically, that is what determines it. Now, at the beginning of the game, we are equally tied in all ways. So that means at the beginning of the game, we both have the same number of scarecrows showing. We both have the same number of excess um, crops in our barn. And we both have, what's the other determiner? Oh, uh, we both have no decorations. If um, there was a differential in any of those, one of us would have been able to get one of these things. But since we're exactly the same, even though there was overlap, nobody is going to get an item this turn, which means the, de the decoration clock is not going to count down. So, um, what is going to happen now is, uh, you know, basically all players can resolve their actions now that they've figured out whether or not decorations are to be had. So I'm just going to go ahead and resolve my actions. First, I'm going to grab some water. And unfortunately, Jen did two, so that means we're splitting, um, which means we each get two additional waters. I was hoping Jen wouldn't do that, although I secretly knew she would, because of course I control her. So anyway, I get two more water, Jen gets two more water. And now we did these other things differently. I'm gonna feed an animal. So we come up here, and you know, I started with a bunch of goods, and, uh, but not enough to feed the pig, the cow, or the horse. However, I do have enough to feed the little sheep. He wants two oats and two hay. So I'm gonna give up my two oats, my two hay, and I have a well-fed sheep. Ah, uh, okay. Um, now, what that means is once they're fed, they go out into their pastures to um, start you know, going about their livestock business. You will notice there's this wheel in the center of my um, board. This determines where stuff happens. And right now you'll notice the sheep is pointing to this uh, section of my farm, which means the sheep will go into this pasture. There's actually two spaces you can go into either one. That means two animals could be in this pasture, out where the carrots are growing. Okay, so that was my action. I fed my animals and uh, you know, got, a, got a sheep fed. Jen's other action was she decided to plant so let's come over here and look at her board. Um, since she is the only one who planted, she gets to plant three things. If I had also done it, it would have been two. But she gets to plant three things, so she gets basically a little bit more. So she could plant um, two carrots, uh, or like a carrot and a corn, or um, you know, a hay and a, you know, an oats, whatever. And where she plants them, again, is determined by this wheel. Right now, if she wants to plant carrots, she can only plant them in this field. She could plant um, you know, hay in this field. She can plant oats here. And then finally, she can plant corn over here. Let's see, now what's she gonna wanna plant? I think, let's see. Well, she just grabbed all that to water, so I'm gonna actually take this opportunity. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna actually take this opportunity to show off a couple of things. She's gonna go crazy on planting. Um, so, for starters, she will plant uh, this carrot here in the carrot field, right? And whenever you plant, you basically, this is kind of an Agricola style thing. She planted a carrot of her own supply, so she takes another one from the general supply, puts it on top. That represents, you know, her seeds having grown. And so basically she, uh, 
you know, it's a, two, it's a uh, one for two type thing. So she's planted one of her three plant actions. Now she is uh, next going to, oh, I don't know. She's going to plant. No, next up before she plants anything else, she is going to spend one of her waters because she just got a bunch of water. She's going to spend it. Um, so it goes back to the thing. There's two things water can do. Water can be used to move your own personal wheel or water can be used to give yourself extra um, planting and harvesting actions. She used that water before she did her second, remember she has three planting actions. So um, before she does her second one, she's going to move this wheel one space. And now she will continue um, with her other two planting actions. So you'll notice the carrots have moved here. So she will put a carrot over here. Boink. Um, and let's see, and then for the last one she's going to plant, she's going to plant uh, corn. Where is she? No, actually no, she's not. Instead of a second planting being a carrot, her second planting was going to be oats instead. So she, for her second planting of her three, she's planting oats. It's going to come over here because you'll notice oats originally were starting out here, but now they're over here because the wheel rotated. So she's planting oats there. And then finally, for her third planting, she is going to plant some corn. Generate a little bit more. Over here in the new field for corn. Um, now, you might be asking, why did she bother to rotate that wheel? You know, spend one of her waters to rotate the wheels. Um, because uh, you'll notice the way I put that stuff out, I was able to not cover up any of her scarecrows. Um, as soon as you start covering up scarecrows, you um, you know fall behind in the decoration race, and you get you get your um, opponent get the um, you know get first dibs on decorations. Jen didn't want to do that. She wanted to stay equal in the scarecrow race, um, so she had to basically spread her crops around a little bit. Now. The other use you can use for water, in addition, you know, you can spend as much water as you want in a turn to rotate your wheel as many times as you want. She spent one water to rotate it once. You can keep spending water to also increase the number of um, actions you do when you are planting or sowing. So if she wanted, she could spend another water and plant a fourth time. Um, you know, so she could get more crops out there. But if she did that, right now, she would have to plant here for carrots, here for uh, hey, here for oats and here for um, corn. And if she planted another one, she would start covering up her scarecrows, which means she'd be in danger of falling behind on the decoration. So she's going to stop planting right there. So that was it. So that was done. We have both played our two actions. Now, wake up computer. Okay, I'm not having to look at the uh, translation for the rules because I don't quite remember them exactly. Uh, anyway, so now, let's see, matching actions. So... Do your actions. All right. Okay. Yes. At the okay. So we're basically um, at the end of the turn. We do clean up. If uh, any decorations had been taken, new ones would have come out, but they're still there. Um. By the way, this is something I'm not 100 sure about. The rules uh, translation is not very clear. It might be that I have to actually wipe these away. They're gone, and two new ones come out. Or it might be that um, it's just if one of them had been taken, a new one would come out. I'm going to assume that's the way it is. Hopefully somebody can correct me if that's wrong because, again, the rules translation is a little bit vague. But anyway, so um, I'm going to say that if either of these decorations had been taken, a new one would come out so the timer would continue. Um, let's see. We, um, you know, Jen takes her action cards back into her little collection over here on the sofa. And then finally, the master wheel every turn moves. And therefore, it changes. So now there's more water on offer, um, more planting on offer, and the same amount of harvesting on offer as it was last turn. And now we're on basically to turn number two, where we again do the exact same thing. We got five actions. We're going to choose what we want to do. And so um, let's see. What are we going to do? Uh, now, Jen did a bunch of planting last turn. So that means I assume she's not going to do much planting this turn. So I'm going to go on for planting, particularly because I'm hoping I can get that four. Uh, so one of my two actions will be planting or sowing, I should say. But uh, I, I tend to think of it as planting. Anyway, so I'm going to plant. And for my other action, I am going to... I'm going to grab some more water. And hopefully uh, Jen doesn't go for that. And meanwhile, Jen... Let's see. Since she just did all that planting, she's going to want to do... No surprise. Some of that. And what'll she do? What'll she do? Yeah, heck with it. Yeah, she'll do that. Okay. So I am, 
getting more water and I am planting, Jen is harvesting, no surprise, and she's gonna feed some of her animals. So we'll see how that goes. Now, this time, I believe there is no overlap at all. Um, so there will be no decoration tiles handed out again. Um, you know, or there won't even be a, tr we won't even try to, to, to compare our relative status and see if anybody gets any decoration tiles because we didn't overlap at all. So instead we just start doing our actions. Um, Jen didn't go for water, so that means I get the, the full four water. Excellent. One, two, three, four. And, um, and what else did I do? I, oh, I, I was, I'm going to plant some. So let's, let's start planting some stuff. Now, I don't have as much to plant as Jen because, uh, uh, you know, because I, I fed my sheep last turn. And in fact, actually, I've only got three things left to plant, um, which is too bad because I could actually plant four things. But clearly, I didn't plan this out very far ahead. But I'll plant all three things of the things that I've got to plant. So I've got corn and two carrots I could plant. So um, I think I'll just go on ahead and plant the carrots up here. That's one. And now I could plant my other carrots up here, but then I cover up my scarecrow. I don't want to do that. I'm going to plant some corn down here. So that's two. Three more corn. And then I've got one more carrot to plant. And if I put it here in the if assigned carrot field, I will fall behind on scarecrows. So I'm actually going to pay to move my wheel a little bit more than Jen did. One, two, three. Oh! And, oh crap, that's as far as I can turn it. All right, I paid one, two, three. One, two, three water, and I moved it three spaces. I was actually, I didn't really think this through very well, but I mean, heck, it's, it's literally my first game, so I'm learning along with you. Um, I wanted to move it, pay four, to move it one more space, because if I moved it one more space, then the carrots would be over here, and I wouldn't have to cover up a scarecrow. But I cannot move the wheel anymore because the wheel cannot move over a space where there's stuff waiting to be harvested. So the wheel cannot move any farther. So um, I, I want to plant my last uh, carrot. So boom, there it goes, covering up a scarecrow. And I've just given Jen the opportunity to start grabbing decorations. So that's not good. But anyway, so I paid my, did I pay my one, two, three? Yeah, I did. Um, so I got my water and then I planted, oh, got to actually put my carrots out. So those are my two actions. Uh, and now it's, let's see what Jen does. So first of all, she will harvest them. Now, harvesting is, of course, driven um, by this wheel the same way that planting and putting out animals is. Right now, Jen can harvest from here, here, or here, because these are the three harvestable fields. And I guess this whole um, rotating action kind of represents, you know, uh, proper, uh, you know, crop rotation. And, you know, that you don't want to keep planting the same thing in the same fields, because that messes stuff up, I guess. Uh, the farmers out there, they'll know what I'm talking about. So anyway, so Jen, um, she only, she's the only one who took the harvest action. So she can harvest up to three things, unless she wants to pay water to harvest more. So, um, for starters, she'll harvest both these carrots. That's one, two. And now if she wants to harvest any more, she's going to have to move this wheel. Um, let's see, so she'll move the wheel, pay once, pay one water, move it again. That's one, two, and now three. She can harvest this uh, uh, hay, and she'll move, pay another water and move it again so that the harvest spaces move over here to the oats, and she harvests some oats. So she got a bunch of stuff. And now if she wants, she's still got a little bit of water. She could pay, what the heck, because she's going to pay some more water. She'll pay a water, rotate it again, and now these guys will be able to harvest. She will harvest some corn. And she could, uh, she could pay her last water um, and then harvest these oats as well, but she's going to stop there because she's got a bunch. Look at all this stuff she's got. Um, what do you know? She is doing better than me. Go figure. But anyway, so she's um, done with her harvesting. Now she is going to actually feed some animals. Feed some animals. She's got a lot to feed. So... In fact, I mean, hell, she could probably feed multiple animals. Let's say she's going to do that. So she's going to feed her horse because she loves horses. A horse wants three carrots and three, one, two, uh-oh, does she have three oats? Yes, she does. One, two, three oats. Okay, so she's going to pay three carrots and three oats to feed her horse. And the horse comes out here into this field. There's where he is. And now she's still got a bunch. Hopefully she's got enough to feed one more. Uh, let's see. Oh, maybe she doesn't. Let's see, she's got three hay. Yes, she does. She's got three hay, one, two, three, and two corn, one, two, and which is enough to feed the moo moo cow. Uh, let's see, and the cow 
right here goes into this field. So she's got two animals deployed, and now she's used up all of her food and almost all her water. But she's got two animals that are out there about to score points for her. Now, before we move on, there is one very important thing I forgot about in my turn. Remember, I moved my wheel quite a bit. I rotated around, and I couldn't move it any farther because it basically hit the wall of these unharvested crops. One important thing did happen. I moved it far enough that you'll notice this little um, this pacifier symbol. Uh, I assume that must have something to do with the video game. Uh, the pacifier symbol has landed on the section where my sheep is. That means my sheep now um, uh, basically has produced the goods he's going to produce. And he goes back, you know, it's basically as soon as this symbol crosses over where your animals are, he goes back to his stables and waits to be fed again. So he goes back here, and I have scored on the um, sheep meter, 10 points. Um, basically, I generated some wool um, off that sheep. You know, he was out in the pasture for a while, good enough to grow some wool, and then I, grab, I, I generated the wool for socks, and I scored 10 points. Um, right, so I did that. Jen did her action. She fed, got some animals out, uh, did some harvesting. It's the end of the turn. Uh, again, you know, uh, no decorations are taken, so that doesn't reset. Um, Jen takes her cards back. And again, um, the seasonal wheel keeps on turning. Proud Mary keeps on burning, rolling down the river. Okay, oh, you can see uh, next turn, water's gonna go up to 5-3. So if you're the only person grabbing water on the next turn, that'd be really great. But for this turn, uh, it's 4-2 for water. This is a good turn to plant and a good turn to harvest. All right, so time to go again. What am I gonna do? Uh, to choose my actions. Do 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 -de -do. Uh, do 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 do. Okay. Um, I want to harvest some because actually because I can't move my wheel anymore unless I harvest some stuff So I'm definitely gonna harvest You know and that would be pretty apparent if Jen were paying attention to me That would be pretty obvious to her That's what I'm gonna do so she can actually bear that in mind when she's making her decisions because obviously I need to harvest Because I'm out of stuff to plant um, Now I can't move my wheel anymore. So definitely it's a foregone conclusion. I'm gonna harvest and what else am I gonna do? Um, let's see, I'm gonna harvest which means I'll probably get some uh, resources. I could feed another animal or Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go to the seed store, the feed store. That's my, those are my two actions. Meanwhile, Jen, she, what is she going to do over at her? Let's see. She is going to... Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, I don't know. I reckon she will. Um, right. She will do that and that. Boom, boom. Okay, and what did she do? She um, is going to feed some... No, no, what am I doing? What am I talking about? No, is she going to do that? No, she's not going to do that. Goofball. She is going to grab some water. Sorry, folks. Grab some water and do some harvesting. Um, so, once again, we have overlap. We are both going to harvest. And quite frankly, even though this is not that great a time for Jen to harvest because she doesn't have that much to harvest out there, she chose to do it anyway because she knew I was going to harvest and she wanted to force a decoration tile to come out because she knows she's, at, she's doing better than me in that regard. So she was paying attention to me and she's taking advantage of the situation, doing a less than optimal action. She's not going to have much to harvest, but she's going to pay off. So, hey folks, we are actually going to t deploy some decorations. Um, we didn't overlap on the water because I went for seeds. We did overlap on the harvesting. So one of these two decorations is going to go to one lucky person. And so again, I mentioned this early on, but the way that you determine who gets the decorations is there's actually standard rules way and expert rules. Well, we're playing by the expert rules right now. So what that means is the first thing we do is we compare who has the most scarecrows. Um, and as you know, Jen has the most scarecrows because she hasn't covered any of them up, whereas I did cover up one of my scarecrows because I couldn't move my wheel far enough. So that means Jen wins. If we were tied on scarecrows, it would have gone to who has the fewest decorations. And in which case it would have been a tie because nobody has any decorations. And in which case it would have ultimately been decided by, you know, the final tiebreaker is who has the least food. And that would have been me. So if we were tied on scarecrows, I would have gotten the decoration now because I'm behind in food. But Jen had the scarecrow situation under control, so she wins. Now, I should say in the standard version, it's the same basic principle, but they change the order of priorities. The um, prime determiner is whoever has the fewest decorations gets the decoration. So it's kind of a built-in catch-up mechanic in the easy version of the game. But in the expert version of the game, you really have to pay attention to your scarecrows. So anyway, I've given it to Jen. And so she is going to um, either take this tile 
which um, gives her, lets her do four additional um, planting actions right now. Ooh, which is nice, because she could plant and then immediately harvest what she planted. Or she can get straight up three victory points for the end of the game. She's going to do this one. That's another thing. Uh, these, the, the, the uh, bonus tiles that have this wooden um, uh, thing on it, these are ex expert level tiles. They aren't in the uh, standard version of the game, so I guess that means these are probably implicitly better. So anyway, Jen is going to grab this nicely done. So she takes advantage of this right now. Um, right this very second. As soon as you take it, you take advantage of it. So it means she can plant four things. She's only got three things to plant, so she can't fully take advantage of it. Still, she can't complain. So she is going to start planting. Oh, but look at this. Oh, yeah. So um, things are not going to be too bad for me too long. So let's see. She's going to plant her hay. Um, see, if she plants it here, she's going to cover up a, uh, a scarecrow. And then we're tied on scarecrows again. So let's say she's going to plant one of her carrots. Uh-oh, she's got to cover up a scarecrow. So, um, so she's kind of, you know, damn she does, damn she does. She's going to cover up a scarecrow, put a carrot out. She's, got, she's going to plant another carrot and a hay. So I think now she has to use her last water, because if she planted a hay here, then she would have no place to plant her other carrots. So she's going to pay her last water, rotate the wheel one more time, and, um, and then plant... A carrot here, covering up another scarecrow, thereby putting me in the scarecrow lead. And then she's going to plant her hay over here, not, is it hay? Yeah, here, not covering up a scarecrow. But even still, I'm in the scarecrow lead now. Okay, so, um, so she got that free action, and now she goes on ahead, and boom, she's going to harvest right off the bat. A really nice one-two combo. Um, oh, Let's see. Actually, well, before she'll do that, because she can do these in either order she wants, um, she gets to have four water, because I didn't go for water. One, two, three, four. So she gets four water. And now, so she's done that action. Now she will go on ahead and harvest. And she's got enough water. Oh, and also, um, this decoration, it was a one-time thing. You do it right then. Flips over to be a cute little picture of some... These are truly strange decorations. This is a picture of a magician rabbit and uh, some other kind of rabbit eating a bowl of cereal, as near as I could tell. Whatever, I'm sure it's from the game. Um, anyway, it goes over there um, into her decoration gallery. And now, so now that means she also has one decoration. So I'm leading, or you could say I'm behind on the decoration comparison. I am um, in a better situation on the scarecrow situation. And um, also, oh, okay, Jen has fewer crops, so she's better off there. So that can help determine who's going to be able to get um, decorations next turn. Because we're now, I'm sure, going to start getting a lot more decoration overlap. So anyway, so she's going to harvest now. She can harvest this turn four actions, because she was the only one who chose to do it. Plus, she could spend water to harvest even more. So let's see, what's she going to harvest? Um, she's going to harvest this oats. One, two, three. Harvest the, um, these carrots and these things. Now she's going to pay a water to rotate to be able to harvest these carrots. And um, let's see, she's going to pay any more water. She can't, um, let's see. Because she could actually pay some more water just to move the pacifier around to, you know, trigger the animals. She's not going to do that. She's just going to stop right there having harvested a bunch of stuff. That's the end of her turn. Me, my, me, I, oh, this is all simultaneous. I um, harvested some stuff. And, oh, wait, oh, we both harvested. So I'm sorry, she only got to harvest one less. But let's say she paid a water to harvest that last one she harvested, right? Okay, so I get to harvest three things. Sorry about that. And what am I going to harvest? I'm going to harvest these two carrots because they're blocking my wheel. Um, let's see. And now I can harvest this or this because these are both in the area. I think I'm just going to... Well, now i got to think about what, uh, what do I want to either plant or feed animals next turn with. Um, let's see. Actually, I think... Oh, before I harvested. I didn't harvest because I can do my actions in the order, right? So I haven't harvested yet. Instead, I am going to go to the feed store and get my stuff first, which means I get one of every crop that I don't already have. I already have some water, so that doesn't count, but I get one of each type. So I get a one, two, three, four. So that's pretty nice. And I get one free planting right now. So I can plant one of these. And then, then I'm going to immediately going to harvest. So I want to think about what do I want to plant and harvest because I want to feed some more animals. Let's see. So I'm going to get to harvest some stuff. Uh, see, if I get these two, harvest these two carrots and this hay, that means I, uh, let's see, who likes carrots? Pigs and horses like carrots. So I probably want, so that means I want either corn or oats. 
which means if I get these oats, I'll have enough for the guy. So I don't want to count the oats, I want to hold on to that. So I think I'm going to plant, my free plant, I'm going to plant um, some corn up here. And that was my going to the feed store. I grabbed all the things and I did one free planting. Now I will harvest. And I get, what was it? Three harvests, because we both went to harvest. And so the harvesting I'm going to do right now, I have to choose from here. So I'll take the carrots and the carrots. And I'll take the oats. And if I want, I can pay some water and I can harvest more. I think I will. I'll pay one to push it further and also harvest this hay. And um, let's see, do I want to pay? I'll, I'll harvest like crazy. I'll pay one to move my wheel. And then another one to harvest some more. Uh, okay, I'm going to get some carrots. And I'll pay another one and I'll harvest more. And I'll get some carrots. Oh my goodness. Do I, do I, oh boy, that's a lot. Do I want to keep going or do I want to stop? I think I'll stop. Maybe I should keep going, but I can only do so much, folks. All righty. So anyway, I got a whole mess of oak crops, and I've still got some water left over. Okay, so that was the end of my two actions. Jen did her two actions. Um, at the end of the turn, a new decoration comes out. Um, and it is a... Whoever gets this gets immediately two hay and one... Um, what do you call it? What's it called? Uh, oats. So that's what has come out. The wheel moves. It's a very good turn for water. And um, yeah, it looks like things are just getting better and better. And I bet they'll probably, as the wheel goes on, they'll kind of like crash and it'll sl start slowly again. But anyway, and so now we're on to a new turn. I think, I I think I'll just play uh, one more turn. Let's see. So what am I going to do? Okay, I'm definitely going to feed some animals. I'm going I'm to feed a boatload of animals. Let's see. Well, actually, what am I going to feed? I should have been thinking about this last turn when I was harvesting. So okay, I got enough. One, two, three. And one, two, three, so I'll be able to feed my horsey. And I think I got one, two, three, and one, two, so I'd be able to feed my piggy. Oh, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, last turn, I paid one more water, and I grabbed this corn, too, um, because that also then gave me enough for one, two, three, one, two. I am going to feed, I'm going to feed three of my four animals this turn. Awesome. Okay, so... I am going to feed animals. And the other action I'm going to do, see, that's going to leave me high and dry after I do that. I could just grab some more feed, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, because I, I might as well. Because, or either I want to grab feed or water. Now, I look over there. Jen doesn't have much water either. So it's a good chance she's going to go, particularly since this is a good water turn. So I'm definitely going to go for water. I'm hoping I'm going to get the water. But if not, I am going to, uh, I'm going to do, you know, see. So that's what I'm doing. Jen, meanwhile, she knows I'm going to feed animals. She does not want to overlap with me because I'm ahead on scarecrows and she doesn't want to give me a decoration. So she doesn't, you know, she, she is not going to choose to feed animals. Even though she's got a bunch of stuff, she doesn't want that to happen. And then she's got to figure out what else am I going to do. She doesn't know for sure. Remember, folks, I chose water. She doesn't know that's what I'm choosing. But she sees I'm low on water. So, and she's smart. Um, so she's going to assume, yeah, she is going to... What's she gonna do then? She's gonna do that. And, oh, yeah, that's not really that good for her. Okay, yeah, no? Uh, but see, she really wants to feed animals too. I think she's uh, kind of, uh, you know, up the creek without a paddle. So, yeah, she's gonna, I mean, she's got to, she's gonna, feed yeah. So, anyway, so she has ultimately decided we reveal at the same time. And, well, you know, I went for feed and water. And so did she, because she needed the exact same stuff. And what does that mean? They're both decoration tiles are up for grabs because there are two overlaps. So we have to resolve that now, right? Because there's two overlaps. Both those decoration tiles are going to go. Let's check scarecrows. It's me. I win. So I get both of these. Boom. Three victory points for the end of the game. And boom. Right now, I get an oat. And was it? Two hay. An oat and two hay. And, there, and I get a little horse and carriage, royal horse and carriage in my, in my garden. All right, but anyway, what was it? It was an oat and two hay. Okay. Very nice. Um, so we resolved that. I got both of those things because Jen just couldn't help it. She uh, was, you know, between a rock and a hard place. She kind of knew she was giving it to me, but she had to, she could have taken a very inefficient unef move and waited till next move to, but, you know, what the heck. Uh, maybe that would have been smart, but I'm still figuring out. So we resolve that. Now we do our actions. I'm going to feed, 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 feed my animals. So that means the horse comes out. We already figured it out. 
the cow comes out right over there, and the pig comes out right over here, and all of this delicious food goes away. Do, do, do. Boink, boink, boink. And, but the pacifier's got a long ways to go before these guys will actually score any points. Um, and then meanwhile, I'm gonna grab some water, and we both went fabs on water, so I get three water. One, two, three. Arr, one, two, three. And Jen gets, for her action, she went for water too, she gets one, two, three. And she's also gonna feed animals. What has she got? She's got some carrots and some corn. One, two, three. So carrots and corn, she gets her piggy fed. And she doesn't have enough for her, right, but anyway, so the pig goes here. The pig goes in the same space that the horse is, which would have been bad, you know, if there was space, she would have had to pay water to move to actually, but anyway, there was space because there's two spaces for animal. And uh, so she fed her animals and she got some water. And you know, maybe, maybe the benefit of hindsight, she should have planted, maybe. Yeah, she should have planted because then I would have only gotten one of those. But, you know, live and learn, it's the first time for both of us because we are the same person. Um, so uh, that was the end of that turn. Um, but you know what, actually, on my turn, uh, oh, I've only got, if I had more water, I would actually uh, tr start triggering these animals. But I'm not. Okay, so move on. And as you can see, water's a bit more scarce, but we're getting into the higher, um, plant, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, planting and sowing actions. But, you know, so we're going to go into lean times before it goes into heavy times again. Uh, at the end of the turn, new decorations come out. A double corn. And a, oh, this is an interesting one. Nobody knows what this means, unfortunately. Everybody's kind of taking a guess, and no one um, from Ravensburger has actually spoken up, or you himself has spoken up. What we all, the uh, prevailing wisdom is, if you get this tile, you immediately get to um, put, you get to do three of the following. Take one, like, so for right now, well, actually, it wouldn't be very good for either of us right now, but we'd be able to take three stacks of crops we have out there, you know, the stacks always have two, and put an additional so there's like three of them. So it's basically, this is three free things of stuff you already have planted. However, that's a guess. Nobody knows for sure. Again, if somebody sees this video, who knows? That'd be great if you could define it for sure. But anyway, so um, new stuff comes out, and again, on the next turn, we pick actions. So, I think you kind of get a basic idea for the rhythm. Obviously, I'm going to want to get some more water and start um, planting again. I'm going to want my wheel to get moving like crazy because I want to start, you know, um, you know, uh, getting the big payments off of my animals, get them back into the barn so I can feed them again. And that's the rhythm. You're, um, you know, you're paying attention to what your opponent is doing, trying not to let them get ahead on the decorations game because, you know, I'm still, actually, as it stands right now, we both don't have much harvesting. Are we tied on scarecrows again? I think we might be. I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So we're, we're it's back to equal on. Um, and so now it comes down to who's got the most resources. So it's anybody's game who's going to get the next decoration, depending on what we do. Um, so you're always like playing the decoration game, paying attention to what your opponents do, to not give them you know, too much of a lead. Um, always with the goal of feeding your animals so they can generate goods. Uh, um, sheep generates woolen socks. The uh, pig digs up truffles, the cow um, makes milk, of course, and the horse takes people on horseback rides. Oh, isn't that sweet? Isn't that lovely for families that no animals get slaughtered? They all just have, um, you know, they just get to go out and have fun out in the sun, go for horse rides, dig for truffles, just do what they love to do. So it's a very sweet-hearted, um, innocent-natured game. But with actually a fair bit of thinking, a fair bit of paying attention to what your opponent is doing, um, and you know, uh, long-term, kind of middle-term planning, because you know um, the order of events as this wheel moves forward, and you have total control over your wheel um, with um, your water, which is the most precious resource of all. Precious, precious agua. So um, that's uh, Farmerama. And because of the tricky nature of this, you just saw me play this game for the first time. I was kind of figuring it out as I went, kind of as if um, you know, Jen and I were truly playing the game. And um, I don't know, we're maybe, I don't even know how far we are into the game. But you get the rhythm, so you know as much as I do. I will say at this point, looks pretty cool. I would look forward to keep playing. I want to see how this game is going to go. I'm starting to actually kind of get the rhythm. I, 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 uh, you know, I, I, yeah, you get it. I think what I'm going to do here is eventually my wife will move to Malta and we will be together again and it will be beautiful. And um, we will play this game and then I will have a real opinion. At which point I will, um, you know, in the video annotations on YouTube, put my opinion right here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what this looks like. I can't see myself. Right there is where my opinion will be. Coming soon in the weeks to come, an opinion. Um, 
Okay, so uh, uh, hopefully you've read that sometime in the future. But in the meantime, this looks pretty cool. I'm still not 100% certain if I'm playing right with the um, whether these guys go away every turn. And, you know, and so it's like a fixed timer of the number of rounds you get, or if um, you control the speed of the game by how fast these decorations get picked up. That's a big unknown question. Hopefully somebody can answer that question. And um, other than that, uh, that's a pretty thorough breakdown of Farmerama. For a first for me, a uh, video of a game I've never played. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll talk to you later. This is Richard Ham signing off. Bye-bye.